here on this uh, 25th anniversary program at 5.13. We'll be on until 7. Yeah, you'll hear baseball later tonight as the Mets play the anemic Dodgers who can't get a hit. Uh, and remember, we have a lot more to do here. Uh, there'll be celebrations and shows all weekend. And again, we have talked about the history of fan. It would not be a 25th anniversary program without my old friend Don Imus. Don, welcome. How are you? How you doing, Donnie? I'm all right. Uh, what's new? Well, I'm out at the ranch currently. Right. Trying to figure out a way to breathe. <laughs> well, how's it? Uh, have you figured it out? Is it going well? No, well, I keep saying at least I don't have cancer. Oh no! Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm doing fine. Oh, good. I'm glad. How are you? Congratulations. Good. Thank you. How's the family? They're great. Oh, good. Tell them I said hello. Tell them I said hello. When we miss you, how's everything? Everything's good. Well, yeah, surprisingly. So yeah, I wish I could breathe better, but I mean, that's a, here's the thing about old people when you call them. What's that? Like you're calling me. Yeah. They, they'll tell you all of the stuff that's wrong with them. Right, we know that. But, but you I'll tell you that. what else, but I got good news. What's that? Well, I had a kind of a uh, toothache, so I call my dentist in New York, right. and I say I'm really in a lot of pain. Right. So I'm waiting for the FedEx to arrive, <laughs> because it's got... It's got a prescription of Vicodin. I'm sure it does. <laughs> so we're living to drink, man. Yes. No, I'm good to see nothing has changed. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's, you know, I remember those old days. Good to see nothing has changed there, Don. You know that? No, absolutely. No, no. Uh, absolutely. So, you know, uh, when, when you think back, can you remember the fan days or have you completely forgotten them? Yeah, I was thinking when the channel called me. Right. And he said, would you, would you be willing to talk to Mike? I said, of course. Absolutely. I was trying to remember. Right. And I, I, I can't remember exactly <laughs> what happened. I know, I guess Emma's broadcast is Jeff Smudgen. Right. I guess he bought NBC. Right. I, I, I think that's where it went. Yes. Because uh, FAN had already been established on 1050. Right. The dial position, which you can't hear, by the way. If you park next to the transmitter in your car, <laughs> it's true. So, so that was moved over then, right, to where we were at 660. Yes, which is where you guys are now, which is one of the great signals in the history of broadcasting. At night, you can hear FAN at 38 states. That is very true, and so, and, and we uh, inherited you. Uh, and so then we came along with the package. Yes. And I, I don't know where I was. In terms of contracts and so on, but I forget who the program director was. Could have been Mark Mason. It was. Uh, it was Mark Mason. Oh yeah, okay, company. Yeah. So a uh, very nice guy. Yes. So, uh, so you know, at, at, at that point, the sports talk thing, which was a great idea, Smitty's idea, I believe. Yes, it was. Um, was not taken off, but I think. Well, that was uh, not, uh, there was all of a number of things. They didn't have any. They didn't have any great talent. I don't think they did. I don't want to disparage anybody. But, right. And then they had a horrible signal. Right. So by um, coming to six sixty, getting us, and then got some decent talent, and then along came you and Mad Dog, and there were some other people. Yep. Who were pretty good. Yeah, we got a, and and the thing took off. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, well, thanks to you. I mean, because, you know, Dog and I, if you remember, I don't know if you remember this. You probably don't. The day they tell me, and I'm over there now doing middays and filling in for Pete Franklin, who is basically, you know, Pete Franklin about had it. Like Pete was, psycho. Yeah, Pete wasn't <laughs> showing up. So I'm like filling in for him. This is pre-Mike yeah. and the Mad Dog. And they call me in one day, and they say, listen. We're going to merge with 66 soon. We want you to go over and meet Dynamis. Why don't you go over there and do sports one morning? And I'm like, you're kidding, right? And they're like, no. Do you remember the morning I went over to your old place at NBC to do sports for you? No. I went over one day, and you couldn't have been worse to me if I, you know. You, That's just not true. Mike. Oh, you were terrible just, to me that day. That's just lie. Oh, you were throwing your gum at me and stuff, and I, you just, know, unbelievable. That was, that was a form of affection, had to be. That's it. And then after that, you learned to love me. So, I mean, it's yeah, unbelievable. No, no bigger supporter of you and Fruit Loops than me. No, no. there never was, as a matter never of fact. What happened to him, by the way? I don't know. I can't find him. You know, I've been looking for him. Since. He walked out one day in August 08, and I've never seen him since. Like, I've been sending, I've, I've actually sent out private investigators. I can't find him. <laughs> Have you well, seen he'll, uh, he'll wash up somewhere. I heard he was working on your ranch under an assumed name. Is that true? <laughs> 
You know, I went to the dentist here, and I had the uh, the dentist story, so I had to go to the dentist here in Santa Fe. Right. right? And a nice guy. And I mean, it must right. gotta be in Santa Fe. There's got to be. Wouldn't you think a couple hundred dentists at least? Yeah. Guy says. Uh, uh, I said, thanks to him. He said, oh, that's fine. He says, you know what else I say? I said, oh. He said, Mad Dog's parents. <laughs> you said, got Mad the Dog's same parents. dentist. <laughs> so, so then he knows Mad Dog. That is on, that is on, and you know, here's the amazing thing. You call a dentist in New York and tell him your mouth hurts, and then you go to the dentist down there and tell him your mouth hurts because you got him sending you a FedEx, too. I know that. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> you got, like, you got the FedEx trucks lined up like it's a funeral. You know that? You, they got, like, ten FedEx trucks lined up one after another <laughs> delivering stuff to you. <laughs> I remember the, remember the one time we were in the hospital at the same time? <laughs> we were on the phone. I think Chernoff was, like, running back and forth. I was getting my knee fixed. You're in the hospital after falling off the damn horse, and we're both in the hospital doing shows at the same time. <laughs> you know, uh, Chernoff was reminding me that one time at the, at the, in the nascent stages of our tenure at FAN, we, right. uh, my lung collapsed when I was on the air. Is that true? Yeah. And so I'm doing the show. And Bernie and Lou are making fun of me <laughs> <laughs> because I'm gasping for air. So I, I get so because I, I didn't know what it was. Who knew what it was? Right. So they so then uh, Hollander and turn out take me to the hospital. It's a collapsed lung. So I go in the hospital. I go, long story short, right. I have to have a lung operation, which is horrible. Right. Back in those days, it was really horrible. Right. Cuts in half, you know. Oh. So they would come to turn off, and uh, and Hollander would come see me all the time. Me and they were great, bring me stuff, and you know they were terrific. I remember you doing a show all some of that, and from you know yeah. from the hospital. In fact, you you arranged for Bill Parcells to call me. Yep. Which was, a, by the way, one of the great conversations I've ever had. I remember that. I do. He was on just before. I remember that when he called. I remember when he called you. And you didn't even miss. You went in and got your lung done after collapse. And you didn't miss one show the whole time. <laughs> no, but anyway. I think you did a show from the operating room one morning. You know that? Over, they, so they come over to see me. And they had moved me to another room for some reason. Right. So the best, so they go in the room and it's all made up. They thought I was dead. No, you got it wrong. They were hoping you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's After true, what yeah. you put them through, I, I mean. I put them through. Listen, they, they got me in the days I wasn't drinking or doing drugs. Oh, hey, listen, I can remember some days when you and I, with about a quarter to one, would sit down there together in your office and someone would come down to talk to us and we'd have them running down the hall within about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a horrible influence on you. Yes, you were. I mean, you taught me everything I knew, as a matter of fact. You know that? It's worked out well. I always say the smartest man I ever met was Donnie. Taught me everything I needed to know about radio, that's for sure. Well, that was, it was fun days, and on a serious note, yes. I'll always appreciate for, for the rest of my life the loyalty of both you and... Uh, and certainly turn off. And, and, and by the way, Mad Dog. Absolutely. Were, he was there, too. Absolutely. You guys were very stand-up guys. And a lot of people don't know that uh, you actually put your job on the line by trying to save mine. And I really appreciate it. Well, so, listen. It all worked out fine. Th th that's not important. You. But let me also say, on a serious note, that, you know, they wouldn't be a Mike and the Mad Dog or an FAN without you. So, you know, you carried us for a long time before we kind of figured everything out. So... This is all credit to you. Without, you know what, as I, as I always told people, how do you start a sports talk station? I said, go get Don Imus. That's the way you start. And okay. you take it from there because without you, it never would have got off the ground. You carried us for a long time before any of us figured it out. You know that? Uh, you're very gracious. Not true, but to just be <laughs> yeah, no, it, not to be the It <laughs> is true. It, it actually is true. You know that? And you know what? Uh, it really is, and you know, as I said, those years were great. We loved them, and uh, you know, we've both been here a long time. We've both been doing this a long time, but you know what? Uh, it was a wonderful run that I will never forget, both the years with Dog, which I've tried to forget through the years as much as I possibly could, <laughs> and, and obviously the time with you. So uh, I appreciate it greatly, and uh, thanks for a couple of minutes today. I hope everybody's well. Give my best to Deirdre and Wyatt and everybody, and uh, try not to fall off a horse this summer, okay? Well, good luck to you, and uh, may the fan have 25 more. Thank you, Don. All right, baby. All right, Don Imus, back after this.